Hello everyone, this is Leah. Before we start our project today, I thought I'd show you a quick little thing I do with my tea in the morning. This is unbleached cheesecloth that I am tea dyeing. And you can do this in big batches, obviously, but this is just a quick way that I can uh, take advantage of the tea that I'm already drinking. So because I drink my tea with cream, I do this separately because you certainly don't want to have your cream uh, in with what you're dyeing. So probably shouldn't have put my spoon in my cream. Hang on. So after my tea steeps, I use two tea bags because I like strong tea, then I just place it on my cheesecloth and it gets all that nice vintagey look that I'm wanting. Um, you can reuse these when they dry out. You can just steep them again and you can also take out the tea and use it to get kind of big blotches on your paper or your fabric. And you can also use the tea bags themselves after they're dry in collage and uh, your crafting. So just thought I'd show you that because now I'm ready to enjoy my tea and make a lovely little slow stitch with you. So these three are done with their trunks and their branches. And I think they're lovely in their texture. And all that is, is couching. I just took fibers, placed them down, and did embroidery floss or some uh, cruel wool, yarn you can use, anything, any kind of thread. And it just helps you fatten up your texture. <laughs> and that was so easy. I mean, there was zero skill there, just stitching it down to make the shape that I wanted. So I'm happy with those. And now it's time to move on to some of the other elements. I've decided against the sentiments that I was going to put in. I don't think it'll need it. I think that we're going to stick with beads, buttons, um, charms, the burlap for, the, for this down below, and um, a few more little stitches here and there. I think that's all we'll need. So the first thing I wanna do is kind of figure out, I'll go back to this first one that I worked on and remind you of the design we're working on. So we need to decide, or I need to decide. <laughs> I always say we, I think I got that from my husband because all the things that he ever does, uh, he always says we because he's, a very humble dude and uh, so it's hard for him to take credit for anything he's ever done <laughs> oh anyway so I have but it is we if you guys are doing this with me so uh, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the leaves so we have seven leaves here and I took I looked at my trims and this trim that I have, again, this is tea dyed, um, has these little things here that look like leaves and they're the exact size that I want. So instead of embroidering, embroidering, is that a word? Embroidering. It has to be, right? <laughs> Isn't that funny how sometimes words do not sound right to your ears? Huh, anyway. Instead of using embroidery uh, for to create my leaves, I thought I would just take those and maybe do a few stitches uh, to secure them. So I'm gonna cut those out, just because 
these trims are kind of it made to, you know, again, I'm not an expert, but I'm sure there's a name for it. You can cut these out without uh, unraveling. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these out and see what I come up with. So that looks really cute. I like the size and I like that it adds texture as well as a different color contrast. But also look what I discovered. If I put that in the middle and then layer my, let's see, I got some beads and, and charms that I picked out from the stash that I had. Uh, where's the heart? Where's the heart? Where's the heart? Oh, here it is. It kind of pops it out better. So I think I might do that. Layer that little heart on top. Cute, huh? Yeah, I like that. I have a couple things I want to show you first before I start stitching these down. Um, this is my little stash of broken jewelry and um, things I grabbed from my larger stash. I need to pick out some butterflies and I do have some little charms here that I had. These are the ones I found. These are little. And even though the heart charms I picked out are different colors, see here's, it's okay to mix your metals. That's no big deal. Where's more? Yeah, here's the other hearts. Yeah, so those are the three hearts I picked out. I didn't have a lot, so I kind of only had very few to choose from. But I had a bit more butterflies. Um, but uh, I'll just stick those back in there. Um, I A while ago, I had made this necklace for myself on leather with all my vintage butterfly pins. Unfortunately, at the time, I had run out of my E6000 glue, so the glue I used just kind of disintegrated over time. So I have all these butterfly pins that I could use, but I really think, I mean, as beautiful as they are, and that would be really cool, they would be the focal point, and I didn't want the butterfly to be the main focal point. I mean, besides, they're too big. So I wanted to show you that, but two things I found while looking for butterflies. Uh, this guy, isn't it funny how you come across things <laughs> just out of the blue? So this necklace I had worn when I was a teenager and I'm not sure if my mom bought it for me. I don't know. So that's 30 plus years ago and I thought I had lost it and Lo and behold, I found it in some of my broken jewelry, and it's not broken, so I'm not sure. But it it brought back so many memories of that time with my mom, and uh, I wore this all the time. I don't know what it is, but it looks like Mother of Pearl, but I'm not sure if it really is. And some kind of silver or something, but I tried it on. And it is pretty much a choker for me right now. So my neck and my chest were much smaller back then. But who knows? Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Another thing I wanted to show you is we do Home Chef. Uh, the meal kits for dinners. And they have, they send all their sauces and different things in these little plastic containers with lids. There's all kinds of different sizes. But I keep them all because they're excellent uh, for beads or for anything little, um, you know, for paint, for glue, for anything like that. Very good way to upcycle food packaging. Oh, and I found this. Um, I think this is my aunt uh, who went into um, a nursing home recently. I have her stash of jewelry as well. Her and I had almost identical um, taste in jewelry. 
Um, my mom also was, she always wore a ton of bracelets, um, but her boho um, style was much more subtler than um, my aunt and I. We we both share the, the love of bright colors. So anyway, just some memories, looking through things. That's all. Okay, so these are the things I kind of decided on, and so we'll pick through these. Um, this is also a possibility for the butterfly. I don't know. I'll have to decide on that later. I only have two of these beads. This one won't match, but this is a maybe. But I have other butterflies, so we'll we'll choose from that later. And then uh, for the flowers here that kind of hang down, I do like these beads. I thought that was maybe because this one is for the pink um, animal print. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. I don't know. I just thought that looked really cool. And then with this guy, and we'll do some stitches there. And then I think I hadn't decided on which heart to use in the middle here. Either that one or maybe this one. So even if I went like this, I don't know, maybe that's too much pink. I could go with... No, I don't like that one. A gold one, a smaller butterfly. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I think maybe I like that one better. Yeah, this might be just, as much as I like this, it might be too big and too pink. Let this pink stand out. So I think that's, yeah. There's our layout for that one. So I'm going to repeat the colors probably down here when I stitch this burlap down um, just to kind of make it cohesive. So let me pull my threads and then let's, let's stitch all this stuff down. I thought I would bring you in closer and I put it up against the tote just so you see how it will look. But it was a little hard. I was afraid to move it closer to the camera because I would lose everything. So I'm bringing the camera to you. So, yeah, I think that's just the touch, just the little bit of pink and everything else neutral. I think that's the right size butterfly and the right heart for this particular one. So let me get stitching.
Well, that was a lot of fun. And I think it turned out very much how I wanted it to. All this texture in here, so easy. With that burlap, it kind of gives you a base. And then just laying different fibers on top and doing either vertical or horizontal stitches. And I just kind of used all different kinds of little fibers there that had fun texture. And I think that the little metal charms really give it a special bling, as well as these really cool beads here. And to me, it looks like a weeping willow. We have a lot of weeping willow trees around here in Lake Country. And uh, we only have one on our property. But that's what it kind of looks like to me is a weeping willow. They always seem so melancholy to me and yet really pretty. They look beautiful in the breeze. As you saw, I did not use any special stitches for these little leaves. I just did a couple stitches back and forth, kind of like uh, the little uh, veins in a leaf. And then the one down the center, um, I did a little seed stitch, maybe like three of them. Um, that's it. That was the extent of my embroidery stitches. Otherwise, it was just very simple, slow stitching, um, you know, just little tiny stitches that are not perfect. And so you don't need to have any kind of skill. I have none when it comes to embroidery, and yet I feel like it turned out pretty good. So I just trimmed up to that batting, and uh, that one is ready to go and make a pocket. So my homework before next video is to finish the other two, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing just with you know subtle changes in, in the fiber colors and the beads and the charms. Um, so if you're following along with me, I will be back in just a day or two to show you then I'll have all three of these done and we will make the pocket. And I have a couple ideas because I'm not using machines. So on how to attach it to the totes. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.